Hey, good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday, December 13. Uh, hope all is well uh, in your life and in your world today. We are looking together at Psalm 141 this morning. Psalm 141, the, uh, the, the, the um, overtext calls this a prayer for perseverance from evil. And uh, that, that sounds like a good prayer to pray during the season of Advent. Uh, in the season of Advent, we are waiting and watching for the coming of a Messiah, the coming of Jesus into our midst. We remember how the people of Israel throughout, the, throughout their history were longing and waiting for one that would come and set them free from oppression and from injustice and from, from, from the bonds of, of the Roman Empire and, and before them the Greeks and before them the, uh, the Persians and Babylonians. And, and on and on back through history, all the way to Egypt. Um, they were looking for freedom. They were looking for a savior. They were looking for one that would set them free. Uh, and, in, <clears throat> and in the time that they waited, they relied on God's providence to keep them going. So let's listen together for God's word to us in Psalm 141. I call upon you, O Lord, come quickly to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to any evil to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with those who work iniquity. Do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me. Let the faithful correct me. Never let the oil of the wicked anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that my words were pleasant, like a rock that one breaks apart and shatters on the land. So shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of Sheol. But my eyes are turned toward you, O God, my Lord. In you I seek refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. A sense of God's preservation against those who do evil, but also um, a sense of, of, of protection from ourselves, I guess you would say. Lord, keep me from my own tendency to fall into the traps of, 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 of the ways that are not of you, of being... Um, wooed by the promises of false idols or false promises of, of, of the world around us. Lord, let me allow my, uh, let, let me fix myself on you that I would know your preservation, your presence in my life. Our gospel reading this morning is Matthew 22. Let's listen to God's word to us today through the gospel. When the Pharisees heard that they had silenced the Sadducees, that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? And they said to him, the son of David. And he said to them, how is it then that David by the spirit calls him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand, until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer, 
nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. I invite you to join me as we go to God in prayer this morning. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace. And the new life we rejoice in, the life you give in Christ Jesus. We thank you this morning for the love of our families. <clears throat> we thank you for the affection of our friends. Thank you for strength and abilities to serve your purpose today. We thank you for this community in which we live. We thank you for opportunities to give as we have received. I invite you to lift up your own prayer of thanksgiving. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others, and we commit ourselves to serve them even as we have been served in Christ. We pray today for those closest to us, for our families, our friends, and our neighbors. We pray, God, for refugees, for homeless men and women and children. We pray for the outcast and for the persecuted. We pray for those from whom we are estranged. We pray for the church in Africa. I invite you, friends, to lift up your own prayers of intercession. O oh God of our salvation, as the light of morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Cause us to live and to grow in faith that we might bear good fruit for the glory of your holy kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, uh, good to be with you this morning. Um, I want to encourage you to continue to look for uh, to look for God's movement and presence, the spirit of God moving in the course of your day in the world around us. Uh, and pray that you may know richly the depth and the love of Jesus Christ. Take care. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.